Hey everybody, welcome to back to Life is Strange. I'm going to be doing episode 2 now. And I'm going to be watching out to when I can take photos because I want that achievement. So, let's get going I guess. Yep, let's get going. Is it gonna do the whole last time? That's what I was doing at the end. Um, but then I caught it out because I did I wasn't ready for the next episode yet. So I didn't want it to do a recap in the same episode. Oh, here we go. Whoa. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey! Leave <sighs> Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are yep. all over Blackwell. Six months Rachel. Ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is it grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I did it black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. All right. Oh god. Oh, I'm not ready to wake up yet. Come on. Oh, copyright music. Here we go. This isn't really appropriate to be seeing right now. I mean, well, I mean, she is 18, but still. Still, I really don't want to <clears throat> be seeing this. Superhero is yeah, that. I need to shower. <sighs> Whoa, 
Hello, zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Yep. Uh, I better make the bed. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. There we go. It stops the copyright for now. Not really. It doesn't fully stop it because it's going to happen anyway. Take selfies. No smiling. Take your power seriously. Shouldn't I take that camera with me? So that way I can take photos. I admit this is hilarious, but. I shouldn't sink to Victoria's bully level. Uh, nah. I should totally <clears throat> sink to her level. You know, I feel like she deserves it. She does. She deserves it. So yeah, I will. Hey, can I take my supplies okay, or not? Max, let's hit the showers now. Anything in the drawer for me to take? I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. I mean, I would. I still will blah, blah, wear a watch. Seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Ash. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Hey, Victoria. Can I come in? Aww. Fine, I won't disturb you. No, I'm gonna keep knocking. Fine, I won't disturb you. Fine, I won't disturb you. Aw, come on. Fine, I won't disturb you. Dang it. I want to disturb her. Brooke's room. No Brooke here. Okay, who else we got? Got my room, Victoria. Kate, oh, Kate's room. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. Fine. <clears throat> Toilet paper. That. Uh, what else we got? You okay, Alyssa? Immature assholes. Sorry, Max. I'm not feeling social right now. Uh, I think that's because... Um... Yesterday... Yeah, yesterday... Well, not yesterday my time, but yesterday her time. Ooh. Isn't this Dana's room? What's going on here? Stuff. Cheerleader outfit. What's going on here? Hi. Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. Oh, good. <clears throat> Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you oh, by. Oh, come on. Us. You gotta come with... So, are you coming to the party or not? Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah. Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Yeah. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Oh god. Contract of pills. Uh, I probably shouldn't look at that. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. 
Uh, yeah, totally. Well, I can always re. I can always. Uh... Hmm. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Well, see you later, Dana. Uh, what else we got here? We got Juliet's room. <clears throat> uh, we got Stella's room. Let's see, anybody in here? Go away. Nope, nobody. Clearly not a morning person. Taylor's room? Taylor is no doubt nope. being led around by Victoria. Uh, what does Gary want? As usual. Oops. I can have it. I didn't want to reload. Conversation might not have. No, the conversation did happen. I was uh, trying to run. Okay, that's rewind. I don't want that. I want to run. Where am I going? Oh yeah, I'm going to showers. I kept forgetting about that. Sorry. Sorry about that, Max. I know you want to shower real badly, but I kind of don't want to see anything that you got, so that's why I don't really want to do this. Oh lord, what's going on here? Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I need She that. looks like a real mess right now. Like, seriously. Holy Anytime. shit. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, <clears throat> yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. Sure. I'll bring it by later. <sighs> what is it that she wanted again? She wants something about notes. I guess I'll get that and bring it by her room. Anyway, I'm going to shower. Uh... Can we please not see anything? Please, please, please. I don't want to get uh, banned. And I definitely don't want to see anything. I'm going to look away. <clears throat> I actually am looking away, if you're wondering. I know I used to make those jokes, but it's just... I'm not... I'm just older now, okay? I'm not really into What's making those kind of jokes. School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck! I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Good. thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, you he are, Max are you? Joke. Okay. Yeah, let's see if you win. Let's see if you win, you... Uh... Yeah, She's a weirdo with that dumb cat. Witch. There, I'll say witch. I, I can't I can't that. swear. So I won't I won't swear, but I'll say witch. Anyway, let's leave a link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil F you. I love it. You're a witch, you know that? <laughs> I hate you. Since I'm a girl, I could totally say this in this game. I wish there was an option to take Max and like go up to Victoria and punch her. Now that is a character, a girl hitting another girl, not me as a guy hitting her. So that's different. That <clears throat> I 
And besides, I'm trying to think like a girl right now, so... That's all. Uh, what else we got? Shower... Erase. Yeah, I'll erase that. Even Why if not? I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Aw, this action will have consequences. Boo-hoo. Okay, what have we got? Um, still Dana's room. I don't want that. I want, uh, friggin, no, I want Kate's room. There, there we go, Kate's room right here. <sighs> uh, I'm kind of doing this. I'm not going to do Hitman right now. I know. Oh, okay. Oh. Was he still on Xbox or was he just watching you on, like, phone? Oh, okay. But he didn't join you. The hitman. I need to get dressed before I go there. Dang it. It's make me uh frag. Okay, where's my room? I gotta get dressed and I can go to Kate's room. Then I can do the thing that I need to do. And my room's a mess. Ugh, Great. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. After her, yeah. Kate's book. Okay, so where the hell's Kate's book? <sighs> Frag. There. Ta -da. I do love a clean room. Very zen. Search. My desk is a pigsty, but is that Kate's book? I know it ain't oh. there. Oh uh, book. Nothing here. Nope. Dang it. Uh is this her book? Or thing that she needs. Oh, she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Okay, I'll rewind. Okay. Now, I need to move this. Be gone, foul soft drink. Okay. Aha, you sneaky book. I'm You're going out of slow. Oh god, who's texting me? Oh damn, Chloe. Uh Let's see what she starts saying. She's like... Uh... Uh... How far back? Uh... Okay, so she's talking about her time trial powers, blah blah blah, alright. It's enough of that. I don't wanna listen to... Crazy shit going on? Victoria. Course. And I got this rolled on. My room, that's nice. Before I go there. Well, if you need to get dressed and get dressed, you... Oh, fine. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And there. he couldn't even rewind time. Actually, she looks much better now with that hoodie, with that shirt. Now I can uh, with the dough on her. Kate before I'm late. 
that I is really good I symbolism, don't you think, anymore. Gary? Where it's like she I has the shirt of the doe, but she keeps now. seeing like a spear of a doe. <clears throat> oh god, well, Gunner. Oh, let me guess, this is Nathan. Keep your mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Well, you know what? Shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never. Nate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Matt. Kate's room. Let's see what we got here. Uh, it looks very depressing in here. But let's take a picture of his of her rabbit. An achievement. postcard tissues. You know, this is going to take at least two hours for me to complete this episode, because I need to take all the photos, too. So, I'm going to be, like, looking around and everything to make sure that I find photos. Bible? Wait. She even makes notes in her Bible. Wait a minute. My parents never once took me to church. That makes it even more depressing. Against. About what's gonna happen. I don't know what to believe now. Dude, I never knew that, that Kate had a Bible. So she had a Bible, and she felt so depressed that she was going to... Man, that's even more depressing now. I can't believe that somebody... Like, I don't want... God. I don't want to make this stream religious or anything, but I couldn't imagine someone who's religious, who's like a Christian, wanting to do that just because they're depressed. Yeah. Uh, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you I gotta be careful what I say, I mean. Yesterday? That's what I meant. That's the only thing I meant. Be careful what I was saying. I want to be delicate with it. Um... I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Yeah, Kate, I do care about you, Kate. I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex. Are you group. watching me stream? All right. Oh, what about the video? What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. Uh. I won't either. Thank you, Max. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Nathan must have drugged her. Hmm. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember. Yeah, I feel I remember like she was. Yeah, she was drugged. She had to be. Yep. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. <clears throat> Nathan Prescott? Oh shit! He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the <laughs> opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. Mm -mm -mm. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. Oh, yeah. I thought it was a doctor. If there's nothing you I ever eat in life, Gary, you gotta eat a bowl of that. stewed beans. And, and... You know what stew is, right? 
Well, think about that, only there's, uh, beans in there with it. And I don't mean canned beans, I mean like fresh beans and then they're like cooked into that. Mm -hmm. And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video yeah. of you at the party? But yeah, it was pretty I good. No idea. I love it when my Probably nan Victoria. makes it. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm it's her birthday today. This She's 80 shit. today. How do I get a viral She's getting pretty up there, I gotta say. I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? I was like, like 80? Thanks, Mom, Max. she's not 80 yet. She's like, yes, she is. I'm like, boy. Okay, what next? Well, I guess, uh, did I give her my sheet, by the way? I don't know. Well, whatever. Too bad. Oh, wait, I can't leave? Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out Farming if Nathan simulator. helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? If you uh, that, you farm. You use the different vehicles. Video, Certain vehicles does stuff. But I know I was drunk. Oh. That's what you have to prove. But what do you mean them. what's the point of life is strange? I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly There's this me. girl make me feel so who helpful. literally has no, a dream no, okay. that there's a tornado that destroyed anymore. the town. It seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? Okay, she, she's I at this like wait. place there at the lighthouse that, that she usually goes to visit. There's like now. this huge tornado there. So I can walk down the halls with Feels like a dream at first, life. but then she wakes up Thanks, in class. And she's like, oh, whatever. Then she goes to the bathroom. She's this girl gets shot. And when she sees this girl get shot, Good suddenly job, time Dr. reverses. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof. Back of what to before happened. it happened, then she discovers that she has the ability to time travel. But she discovers in the end that the result of her changing things is what causes the tornado. So she either has to let the town be destroyed, or let Kaloe die. Obviously people know, this game is old. And even then, you can pretty much figure it out anyway, right? Without that. <sighs> oh, she's mad. And then you'll buy the game. <laughs> You'd actually buy that. Alright, I gotta exit. Let's see. After I left the dormitory, approach the bench. Okay. On the right. Ah, it's over here. How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrel. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. Ah, here we go. Okay, let me move away. Hey, come on, I moved away. Come on. Come on. Good boy. 
Oh, he's eating. Okay, let me take a photo real quick. There we go. Yes! Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Um, let's see. So, let's see, there's Samuel, the weirdo. I'm not gonna talk to him. There's... Max, check it out. Oh, look, there's Warren. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, oh he's still got a black eye. For a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that accident. Too bad there's no romance in this. Like, I'd totally have Max kiss Warren. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh yes, you do. Well, I actually, on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal. Super oh yeah, yeah, I keep forgetting that. I think Max is. You stood up to a bully, and it only was loves awesome. girls, right? Even though you left me with Never said mind. bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. <sighs> we haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Mm. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Uh, kind of busted him with a gun. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I was too scared to tell Principal Wells. Please, don't say anything. I'll give you more info later. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go away! Speaking of Planets of the Apes, did you just mention Planet of the Apes just then? No, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I just feel like escaping. Fine. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go eat myself. Well, you know what, Warren? Sorry, but apparently Chloe only likes girls, so I can't. Sorry. I'd like to, but I can't. I gotta respect the character, Max. I can't try to hook her up with someone she doesn't want to be with. Assassin's Creed. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate or Rachel. I don't know. I would be looking at looking forward more to Fallout 76, but since there's going to be only audio tapes, enough nobody to really interact with besides your friends, it's just it's interesting, but not like something that like I probably wouldn't be buying it myself. I'll go buy it.
about it. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Nope, I don't want to go there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that would make me piss too, I think. Because they should do it realistic. <laughs> well, I mean... To be fair, and I don't really want to have this. Dis I really don't want to have this discussion while I'm streaming, so I won't touch on it really. And since no one can hear you, it doesn't really matter. From your side, the conversation only matters what I respond with. But I really think they should do the real life thing because pandering to certain people because of that. I don't know. It's not part of history. Mm. <sighs> I guess that would make me mad, yeah. Hey, come on, it won't let me take up the photo? Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, you hear about the pre-orders being low for Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee? Yeah, people are buying Smash Bros more than they're buying than they're pre-ordering Pokemon. They should have known the difference of that. They knew people are going to want that more than they're going to want friggin' Pokemon. Like, yeah, people love Pokemon. I do too, but if I had a choice to choose one... If I like Smash Brothers, which I don't really care about Smash Brothers, then yes, I'd do the same. Yeah. Still make a Mario Party after all this time? Oh. Well, I guess that's all the photos I can take for now. Man, oh wait, never mind. Breakfast and the sound of all I gotta everywhere. do is go to the bathroom. It makes me feel 13 again. Bathroom, bathroom. What can I take a picture of? The graffiti? Here we go. kind of pay attention to a little bit to the surroundings because this is the part where I proved to Chloe that I got powers. So I will listen to you but I gotta kind of concentrate just a little bit. You can still speak but I can't really fully talk to you yet. <laughs> I'll pay attention, it's fine. There she is, a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. 
Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Black <coughs> It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. <clears throat> I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. <laughs> that was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Huh. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. <coughs> oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Huh. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, mm. now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Uh, frig. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. Dun, 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 One Belgian dun. waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. So. <clears throat> Chloe ever going to show up? Let's drink some coffee, I guess. I die? This mm. is a diner. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Stick with bacon. Dun 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 dun. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. Chloe ever gonna show up or what? The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. I can hear your but then it wouldn't be a moment. Here, you'll love this. Oh, finally. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Hey. Mm. Speak of the devil. Oh, finally she's come in. Holy shit. She's like mad that I'm late and then she ends up being Bob late. And Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. 
You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. Mm. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? <laughs> what is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain. Oh boy, she wants to know how you know, I can do all this, or she wants to test you it. Be time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow, right here now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have X-ray vision, dude. I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna have to look up the part where to find the bottles and stuff when I get to that part. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna watch me do this? Yeah, because you're listening to me on here. Okay. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Hmm. You definitely have a razor blade keychain. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Well, all I gotta do is look, and then you need to look at the items and rewind. Okay, Max. Study every item okay. carefully and panda keychain. I can remember that. Cigarettes. That's seven. Uh... 25, that's a, wait, actually, is that 25 cent, fudge, I don't know if that's 25 cents, and that's, there's a 10, and then that's, those are all ones or not, those don't look like, like 5 cents, I know that, so, 25, so that's 75, That's 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. So 91 cents. Or if those are 5 cents each, then 5, 10, 15. That'll be 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Or 31. That's it. That's as far as it can go. I think. Unless that's a nickel. I don't know. Gary, can you help me? Gary. Okay. I need your help. I don't know if... I don't know U.S. money. I don't know if that small one... I know those are pennies. Those ones that are that colored. But I don't know if the one that's up next to the penny is a dime or a nickel. It looks like a dime. 
and the ones with the heads on it look like 25 cents. So can you tell me what that is? Those, wait, those, those ones with the heads are nickels? Okay, so then she has 31 cents, right? Okay. Because that look, because uh, when they're that big in Canada, those are uh, 25 cents. Yep. Parking ticket, or a violation ticket, I mean. Uh, time stamp. And that's it, right? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. No, those are quarters. Look. I think, right? One cent coins, five cents coin, and a quarter coin. So she does have 91 cents, right? Oh, so that one there is a five cents. So she has one cents, she has five cents, and she has that. So that means that she has... So that one there isn't a dime, that there is the nickel then. Because look, it says she has one, one cent coins, which are those. She has five cent coins, which must be that one. She has a quarter... Then she, then those three must be the big ones then. So she has 75, 80, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, 86, 86 cents then. So I think that's correct now. Okay. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. Can I rewind any faster than this? Yeah, there we go. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Uh, key. Your car keys. Duh! Way too easy! I need details! Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. Huh. What else? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Uh, money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Alright. And an expression on her face when it turns out to be all correct. It's like... Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. <sighs> How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very I'd good love to save. be able to do that. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. Be like, hey, Gary, tell me a secret. 
only you would know that nobody else know. You, you have to show me more. Something way so I can prove to you that I can time travel, doubt. and then I just rewind to it before you I told me and didn't tell you the future. secret. No way. Wouldn't that be good? Now pay attention to everything that happens in the next few months. Or would you be scared so you once I rewind it, power. though? Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Okay, so she broke now that. Hold on, hold on. Call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? Okay, so oh, leaves his partner. Slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. The you fight. I'm finishing it. Okay. Oh shit, I never saw that. On. Dang it. Hey, where is my part? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. <laughs> Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Sure, the hell better than that other right. garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. Yep. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Okay. Uh, hold on. I can't see the bottom thing because that thing is in the way. Trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? Uh, alert on a cop radio and he leaves. I think, is it? And his partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, yep. let's just see how this goes down. Okay. Justin and Trevor fight, and Joyce beats him? Or is it Joyce stops him? Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Uh, jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Well, it's doing this cutscene, so yes, everything happens as it is. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how huh. I Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best the toy best ever? Toy ever you yeah. anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, See that? that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That proves that's that Chloe insane. wants Max. Play. It's I don't like, you can make a move on me and I wouldn't you even know. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick God. to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Oh, fine. Chloe finally mm. believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. Oh, well, one hour has passed. 
first time uh, that never happened. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big what? You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Later, Mom. Bye, Joyce. Freedom! I feel bad about Kate. She'll survive you not taking that one call. Now follow me, young Squire Max, so we can see she might power and rule the world. You never know. I hope Kate she might not. Get upset I didn't answer. But I could rewind and answer her. No, I'm not rewinding. Screw it. Nope, sorry. I made my choice, not rewinding. If the bad thing happens, it does, and I will be sad, but there won't be anything I can do to prevent it. Right? Wait up, Speed! Dude, this is gonna be so cool! Slow down! Wait for me to get your present. You can just back time up! We'll have to test you now to make sure. No, some girl friggin' has to American Rust. My amazing skills Rust. shooting Rust. bows and stuff. I don't have to know. She's a, oh yeah, she's a treasure hunter. I get my best friend back, and she's also super sized. We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. Are you kidding? After yesterday, I'm kind of over guns, Chloe. <sighs> Freaks me out that you have one. Don't you trust me? Yes, but not that gun. You have more power than an army. Don't be scared of my little toy. Besides, we need it for the test. Uh, fine. Oh, you're going Frank? now. Yuck. Back. <laughs> you are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns. <laughs> nice combo. I will miss Scare Bear. You can handle it. Now go find Gare, us five bottles. Scare Bear, Gary, please. Barry, Gare Bear. Gary is a berry. <laughs> Here we go. Number seven. Break time. Back up to school bus, really? like the same dough from my tornado vision. That dough is the perfect photo op. It's not really real. Sweet. Okay. Now that I've done this, it's time to find out where all the bottles are, okay? Uh, so let's see.
Okay. <laughs> Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Okay. <sighs> that sets it up. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. Uh, I th there was one up here and all that. Do I get it without it breaking? <sighs> there we go. Three bottles left. Twa bottles left. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. The hell. Hit me up anytime if you have any other questions. I'll be in the TARDIS getting my DeLorean ready. Wow, so he watches Doctor Who. Sweet. <sighs> anyway. <coughs> uh... One over here somewhere. Is there like one out in the open? Ah, there it is. Okay. Two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. Uh Ah. Here we go. One more bottle to go. Four down. Now I got a message from Kate. Oh god. Aww. Well, to uh whatever.
This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. Voila! Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. <laughs> where do I aim? Aim just a tad lower. Ready to plank. Ready to plank. Oops. Where do I aim? Uh. Aim a bit to your left. Chloe Bond has got this. Oh, never mind. She needs to aim up. Oops. Where do I aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. There we go. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me Help something you to shoot, do. Max. Hmm. Hello, uh? what should I shoot? Fine, since you won't play... Aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. Give me something to shoot, Max. I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. <laughs> old school. Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's see you take a crack at that rusty barrel. Sorry, Mr. Barrel, your time has come. Listen to those fat bullet beats! Hmm. Give me something um, to shoot, Max. I don't really have anything else to tell you to shoot. Oh, wait. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now. Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? Like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. 
How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cool bumper. Jesus, I sh shot myself! Ah, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! Stupid gun! Hold on, Chloe. Dude, I need uh, a target before I shoot. Let's see what happens when you shoot the gas tank. Step back, gas tank go boom. <laughs> boom! Car definitely down, but no bottle casualties. Okay. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. I want to see that windshield go down. Huh. Watch out for flying glass. <sighs> okay. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. All right then. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know if you feel okay. <sighs> God, this power really messes with my head. What? I better go chat up Chloe. Uh. Oh, here we go. This is a nice photo. There we go.
Okay. So, I guess speak to her now. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. <laughs> or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. <laughs> We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend. And it's none of your goddamn business. <clears throat> You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean, <sighs> you want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Oh, you jerk. Sorry. Always gonna be mad. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. <sighs> My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. <clears throat> yep. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Well, I don't care. We're going. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We... Mm. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power! You're gross. Don't fall. Huh. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Yeah, what happened to you? Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. We can. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Huh. Are you okay, Max? <sighs> Seriously, Chloe. This is scary. What if Frank tries to track us down? I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. <laughs> That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. 
The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Huh. Hung out? You don't mean you... Uh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? Uh. I don't know anymore. My brain is so fried from all this. I need a mental enema. Uh, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know yeah. she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. It would have been cool you could go back in time and meet Aunt Rachel. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the bead poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Hey, she wasn't stuck when we last left. What's that noise? The train. Oh shit. Can she just take her shoe off? I'm trying to save you. I can't save you when you're being acting like this. Okay. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. The train's coming! Back awesome, it's not locked. But which wire to cut? Red. Again. Oh. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was close. Aren't you glad oh. I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair. Not when you're gonna be doing I stuff have to like this. School before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Mm, they might. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Hmm. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Huh. 
What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? Mm. We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Huh. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? Like I would miss it. I have the sweetest outfit. That snow was so insane. Nah, I'm not gonna speak to that dickhead. Oh, look, David. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. <sighs> what about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Hmm. Oh. This. I still have oh. time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. I have to score some lead from Nathan. Miss Grant is so cool and smart. She defines the word teacher. All right, what have you got? Chemistry stuff. Hey, Warren. You okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. Have hmm. to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Uh, I don't know. Warren, this seems kind of dangerous. You might as well flip a switch, Frankenstein. I'm the only mad scientist without a faithful Igor. I'll choose using the scientific method. Heeny, meeny, miny, mo. Potassium. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking. I didn't about want to go this. back that far. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. This Every can't be signature that far. counts. Hmm. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Hi again, Miss Grant. Right back at you, Max. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite. When's she gonna tell me? I do love the season change. 
This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. Hmm. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Uh. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. How is your campaign going? Uh. You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. Oh. That's how they keep us all distracted. She Nobody gonna tell me about chlorine or not? Every square foot. I know. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Max, with students like you, we sure will. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Miss Grant is so cool and smart. She defines the word teacher. <sighs> hey, Warren. Are you okay? Maxwell Silver Hammer. Asking me for help? I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. I have Fine. a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. <laughs> Sodium it is. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. Hi again, Miss Grant. Right back at you, Miss Grant. Can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. I'm sorry, Miss Green. Go on, Max. Okay. Hey, Warren. Maxwell. Asking. I have to add either. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine, not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? <laughs> I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a oh. confident scientist. Let's try it. Ah, there you go. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. There you go. Whew. That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full-on geek mode. Oh, wow. He is, so you do like him. I'm trying. Oh God! You have to understand my position. Why? K you don't Kate. understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Hey, come on. What's going on? How was that about, Mr. Sorry Jefferson? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me, I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. Uh. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. 
I assume you know about this viral video? Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Huh. I will. She's mad I missed her call today. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. The principal well said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share it? Uh... Not right now. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Both. 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 Ah, here we go. Out of control. Turn left. All right. How do I look, Taylor? You are my And that's all the photos. For episode two. Yep, here we go. Do you What's think these Max brutes will be talking about? Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Or paparazzi. I want that photo whore, or I get nasty. Too late. Me nah. Now. Bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Can I sit down, please? I don't know. Can you? Let her have the desk. That's all she's got. Uh, yeah, you guys are gonna pay. I will get you guys. Don't worry. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love her, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> <sighs> not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder what's your problem. Wow. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Ass. Usually, people need something to judge. So. Aww. Oh, okay. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> so they never take a That's good really look at themselves. It. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? Uh, I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying Kiro Skiro. 
that beautiful uh, word, the contrast between light and dark. <laughs> the shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girls' door! Zachary, oh, you're not God. coming to my class like that ever again. Listen, <laughs> everybody remain seated. Dismissed. <laughs> huh. Oh boy. Huh? What's going on? Kate! No! Oh God! I I have to do something to help her. She can't die. She can't. Oh. Rewind again and again. Oh. Oh. Shit. Keep going, Max. You <sighs> can do it. It's actually pretty cool if you could do this. <sighs> Though it probably hurts like hell. It's too bad you can't yes. rewind and get her off of that. to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Uh. Okay. okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. Everything that matters. Uh... to me I do want to believe that Kate your life is still yours and we can get through this together let me help like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate thanks for that but I needed you more when I called to actually talk that's when I needed a friend uh was Chloe and she was having a serious problem too. I'm sorry. Apparently her problem is worse than mine. So why even bother with me? I'm done anyway. No, no. you're not. And I'm here for you. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing! Ugh. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. 
He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon, then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. <sighs> Max, Ma. I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake oh, up. Oh, shit. Unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. Morty on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Uh, I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Uh, fudge. I need to see something. Uh, What are the right answers to save Kate? Uh, shoot. Um, 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 um. Uh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, I'm trying to think. answer okay <sighs> fudge Kate this is our chance to beat the bullies this is the only way we can win against them can we really Max I don't believe in miracles anymore either now I do you're part of the reason why if you come down with me I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Oh, Forever. thank goodness. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Uh. You told me about your sisters. Especially the youngest one. What's her name? That's Lynn. She's only ten. She does have <sighs> the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. Then make Lynn happy and step towards me. If she was here, you would know what to do. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put Aww. me on this roof. Uh. Ah, oh, shoot. I don't know that answer. Um, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I don't know. I don't know that one. Uh, 
crap. I don't know. It's my fault. I should know this stuff. Uh... Here. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11, 28. I can't believe you quoted one of my favorite passages. Like I said, I care about you. I know this passage means a lot to you. Oh, thank goodness. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. <sighs> oh, man. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duty <coughs> seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen. As our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard up. Almost at two hours. They were not. It took a little bit longer this time because I was doing the photos. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties. And since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Hmm... Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little... Shh. Are you gonna take this junkie's word over your security officer? I know she smokes and deals what? marijuana. That has nothing to do with Kate. Max, I'm afraid this won't be solved here without proof and a thorough investigation. Mm. Now, if you have anything else to say. <sighs> uh, not Excuse really. Me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. <sighs> uh, nah. I'll sign. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. <laughs> yep. Well. 
I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. <sighs> and I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. Huh. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. <sighs> Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? <sighs> mm -hmm. What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. Aww. I That's so sweet. I believe anything this week. Even though we're probably not going to hook up because Max loves Chloe, still, I appreciate the sentiment that you have for Max. Joyce is going to be mad at me. going on with Victoria? Victoria actually upset about this? Frank. This is Doggy. Kate, who I saved. Whew. In the I barely saved her, but I did. Whew. And Chloe. See you right now. Hmm. Achievement. Okay. Well, that was Life is Strange Episode 2.
took me two hours to beat this one because I kind of went more slow. Uh, I'm doing the photos as well. So that kind of brings up the time a little bit. I could do another episode, but I feel like doing one a day is good enough. Whew, that was good to know. But yeah, that was good. Uh, let's see. Sixty-six <laughs> percent. Oh, well, I didn't answer the call too bad. Tried to shoot Frank. You saved Kate's life. Fifty-five percent saved her. Oh, fourteen percent blamed David. Okay. Oh, and this is other choices, is it? You didn't help Alyssa. Not too bad. You were on. You were weren't friendly with Taylor. You were jacked at Warren's invitation. Wrote a message. Didn't tamper with the rail tracks. You didn't gain entry to the Vortex Club party. <sighs> you helped warn. You told on David to Mr. Jefferson. Okay. That's it. This is next time. Chaos Theory. Alright, well, oh, that was pretty good. Hmm. But that's gonna be next time. Right? Select, yeah, see? Next time. So, next time we will do Life is Strange Episode 3, but that's it for Episode 2. So, I think I had enough for today, and yeah. Goodbye.